I'm coming out of the mall the other day, right? And I saw this fine little shot. I mean, she was bad, bro. And I know she ain't from my side of town, because, you know, everybody know me, I know everybody else and shit like that. And she just, you know, she, she just stood out. So, you know, being me, I wouldn't say what I said. And, you know, it was like, <laughs> hello, beautiful. What's up and what's your name? I know you probably used to dudes coming up kicking game, but if you give me 10 more seconds, I'll show you I'm not the same. Came over to shoot my shot. I was posted up taking aim, and now I'm in your presence. Thanking God for this blessing. So can I get your number? And do you see us texting you? Mesmerizing. You look so appetizing. You seem kind of shy. You don't do too much socializing. Well, that's cool. But tell me, are you in school? Nah, I don't mind my brother. He acting boo with a fool. Follow me on the gram. My cup got a little juice. Yeah, later I hit you up. Then we can do what it do. She told me she was single and ready to mingle. Not too long after that, I heard a phone jingle. She had this look on her face and she had to go with her mom with seconds left on the clock. I'm taking shots with LeBron. I never seen you around. Girl, where you from? She said, I know I shine like a diamond, but I'm from the slums. My dad is from La Haiti and my mom is from PA. I'm only down here for school, my apartment's around the way. We start walking slow and she looking for her keys. That look up in her eye to me, she really had to leave. So I walked into a car cause she didn't park that far. And she tied that push and started hitting it at 17. So, you know, I got her number, of course, got Instagram, shit like that. So we on the phone late nights, every night, texting all day and night, talking about dreams, visions, and goals and stuff like that. You know, she got her head on straight, I got my head on straight. We both focus and shit like that. So I'm feeling it, you feel me? You know what I'm saying? Like, so a few days later, I hit her up, like, can we chill? She said, pull up in my spot later. I said, never real. Now, don't get me wrong. We talked for a few days or else you won't feel comfortable inviting me to a place. I pull up to a spot around 6 p.m. She greeted me at the door with some juice in hand. The vibes was feeling cool. As soon as I walked in, she had some music on. She was jamming that boys to men. So we chilling on the couch, talking, watching TV. She looked at me and said, you hungry? I'm like, yeah, I can eat. But what you want me to order? She like, boy, I can cook. She got up, went to the kitchen, and then she gave me a look. I started laughing. She cooked for me. Yes, bro, a whole meal. I was surprised, like, this girl's the real deal. See, all this talking so much time we killed. My heart feeling kind of funny. Am I catching the feels? It's getting late, though. You should probably leave. I'm like, yeah, you right. So let me grab my keys. You know, not because I want you to leave but i got exams all week i ain't tripping baby girl you know you go to a meet right before i left i gave her a little kiss something to hold on to when she want to reminisce as i'm walking out a nigga pull up in the black whip looked at me and looked at her said babe who the fuck is this who the fuck you got in my spot bro hell no nah. more or less, i don't even know the moral of the story to be honest you just can't trust these old it just don't i don't even